everyone. Today we're getting into a very underrated topic of neuroscience and the connection it has to physical fitness and exercise. Picture this, you're at the gym, sweating it out on the treadmill, and in between huffing and puffing you wonder, is all this effort just for the muscles? Or is there something more happening upstairs in the old noggin? Welcome to the wild and wonderfully weird world of the neuroscience of fitness, where every squat, sprint, and stretch does more than just sculpt your body, it's reshaping your brain too. Neuroscience is all about exploring the mysteries of the brain and the nervous system, which is like a network of super highways carrying messages from our brain to different parts of our body. It helps us understand we might jump at a scary movie, why we remember the lyrics to our favorite songs, or why we feel happy when we see our friends. This isn't your average science class. Oh no, we're diving headfirst into a realm where physical meets mental in a dazzling dance of neurons and neurotransmitters. Imagine your brain and muscles engaging in a tango, where every move on the dance floor translates to a healthier, happier you. Sounds intriguing, right? So what exactly is neuroscience? Imagine your brain is like the most advanced, high-tech computer that's ever been created. Now, neuroscience is like being a detective who's trying to figure out how this supercomputer works. But instead of looking at codes and programs, neuroscientists study the brain and its connections to figure out how we think, feel, learn, and do just about everything. So in a nutshell, neuroscience is the science adventure of discovering how our brains work, from why we dream at night to how we make decisions. It's like being on a never-ending quest to unlock the secrets of the most fascinating computer of all, the human brain. At the heart of this dance is a phenomenon known as neurogenesis. Yes, your gym sessions are literally giving birth to new brain cells. Most of this action happens in the hippocampus, the brain's memory commander, turning your workout into a brain power boot camp. But wait, there's more. This is just the tip of the iceberg in a field that's exploding with discoveries faster than you can say burpee. So lace up those sneakers and get ready for a mind-bending journey through the neuroscience of fitness, where we'll explore how getting physical can make you sharper, smarter, and maybe even a tad wittier. Let's dive into a story that's all about mind over muscle, with a twist of humor and a dash of suspense because who knew science could be this fun? Okay, let's talk about exercise and what it does to your brain. All right, imagine your brain is like a garden. Now when you exercise, it's not just your muscles getting a workout, but your brain is too. Here's the magic part. Exercising is like sprinkling this super powerful fertilizer called brain-derived neurotropic factor, or BDNF for short, all over your brain garden. This stuff is like the spinach to Popeye, but for your brain cells. It helps the brain cells you already have to stay strong and healthy, and it even encourages new ones to grow and connect. It's like your brain is throwing a block party and BDNF makes sure everyone's invited and having a good time. But wait, there's even more. Exercise also cranks up the volume on some of your brain's feel-good tunes. Thanks to neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, these are the brain's DJs, spinning tracks that control your mood, keep you sharp and focused, and make you feel like dancing through your day. So, when you're getting your sweat on, you're not just working on your physical fitness, you're also hosting a rave in your brain where everyone's happy, alert, and ready to learn. In simple terms, working out is like throwing a fantastic party in your brain where BDNF ensures your brain cells are living their best life and the neurotransmitter DJ keeps the mood just right. So next time you're thinking of skipping the gym, remember your brain is looking forward to its own kind of party and you're the host. Now let's get into this cool thing called brain plasticity. Think of your brain as the super cool, ever-changing Play-Doh. This Play-Doh doesn't just sit there, it's constantly reshaping and adapting. That's what brain plasticity is all about. It's your brain's ability to keep remodeling itself, creating new connections every time you learn something new or have a new experience. It's like your brain is always in renovation mode, updating itself to be more efficient and smarter. All right, here's where it gets interesting. When you exercise, you're not just giving your muscles a workout, you're also acting like a brain architect, helping to build a stronger, more flexible brain. Regular physical activity is like hitting the gym for your brain cells, encouraging them to bulk up and connect in new and powerful ways. This brain workout helps chase away the blues and anxiety, making you feel like the sun's shining even on a cloudy day. And there's more good news, this brain remodeling powered by exercise plays a superstar role when it comes to healing from a brain injury. It's like your brain's own repair kit, helping fix what's broken. As we get older and our brain starts to show a bit of wear and tear, staying active keeps our minds sharp, helping us remember where we put our keys or the name of what movie we liked. Studies have shown that getting your heart rate up can do wonders for your attention span, memory, decision-making skills, and the ability to switch between tasks smoothly. Think of the prefrontal cortex, a part of your brain right behind your forehead, as the boss that benefits big time from these workouts. 
helping you stay on top of your game. So the next time you're thinking about skipping that jog or yoga session, remember, you're not just keeping your body fit, but you're also giving your brain a first-class ticket to a healthier, happier you. All right, let's talk about the VIP section of your brain, the prefrontal cortex. This is the area right behind your forehead, and trust me, it's doing a lot more than taking up prime real estate on your face. It's the master hind behind your planning, decision-making, personality, and even your ability to remember not to text your ex at 2 a.m. In short, it's where a lot of your adulting skills come from. Now here's the fun part. When you exercise, it's like sending a VIP invite to a party in your prefrontal cortex. Now why is that? Because working out boosts blood flow to your brain, showering it with oxygen and nutrients. Think of it as treating your brain to a spa day. Every day you decide to move and groove. This pampering makes the prefrontal cortex particularly happy and responsive. It's like giving an espresso shot of the good stuff. More energy, better focus, and an overall boost in brain power. So every time you're hitting the gym, going for a run, or even chasing your dog around the park, you're not just working out your body, you're also giving your brain's command center everything it needs to help you be smart, sharp, and savvy self. Ever wonder what happens to your brain when there's too much inflammation? Let's dive a bit deeper into the workout wonderland, but this time, let's not just focus on the brain's gains. Imagine your body is a bustling city, and inflammation is like the traffic jam that clogs up the streets, making it hard for everything to run smoothly. Now, regular exercise is like the world's best traffic cop, keeping those inflammation traffic jams under control. But here's the kicker. While it's directing traffic in your body, it's also sending good vibes up to your brain. You see, when your body's inflammation levels are more like a quiet Sunday drive than a rush hour madness, your brain benefits big time. This is super important because long-term inflammation is like the unwanted guests at the party, linked to some pretty serious brain-related bash crashers, including Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. So every time you lace up those sneakers, hit the yoga mat, or dance around your living room, you're not just doing your body a solid, you're also keeping your brain's neighborhood nice and tidy. It's like hitting two birds with one stone, except in this case, it's more like throwing a health party for your body and brain, and everyone's invited. All right, let's wrap this up with a bow, but keep in mind, we're still a bit like Indiana Jones in the vast temple of the neuroscience of fitness, excitedly exploring, but without the map that leads directly to the treasure. The brain exercise connection? Super promising, but we're still piecing together this puzzle. The big question mark hangs over how different exercises, like the heart-pumping fun of aerobics or the muscle-loving resistance training, play different tunes in our brain. And it gets even trickier when you throw in the wild cards of age, genetics, and whether you're more of a couch potato or a fitness fanatic. But don't let the mysteries deter you. The storyline so far is pretty clear. Moving your body is like a love letter to your brain. The evidence, though still rolling in, is giving us a big thumbs up for regular physical activity. It's not just about buffing up those muscles or hitting your personal best in the park run, it's also about keeping your brain in tip-top shape. So while scientists are busy in their labs piecing together this fascinating puzzle, the takeaway for us mere mortals is a no-brainer. Lace up those sneakers, unroll that yoga mat, or just dance like nobody's watching. Your brain and body will thank you for it. And hey, you might just have some fun along the way. Remember, in the grand adventure of life, staying active is one of the best tickets to a healthy mind in a healthy body. And who knows, maybe one day we'll have all the answers. But until then, let's keep moving. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. And remember to stay flexing and glowing with all this new knowledge.